You know, scent control is, is always a pretty interesting topic when it comes to deer hunting. There's guys that really live and swear and die by it. Um, then there's others that just don't even, doesn't Im impact them or they don't think it's important. For me, I'm a big believer in scent control to gain a few percentage points of, in my direction at any time. We hunt a lot of bow hunting, uh, crossbows, gun hunts, you know, up close and personal inside of 50 yards. And so those deer, the chances for us to get busted due to our scent are a lot higher a lot of times than it is for rifle hunting. The scent control is just as important for a rifle hunter as well because you don't know which direction a deer is gonna come from a lot of times it ruins your hunt. Now it may not be the deer you're even hunting that comes in behind you or to the side of you while you're focused on your target buck to get your wind and causes you to get busted. So I try to take every precaution that I possibly can. A simple scent control bag that travels in a plastic container for me in, a tr in our truck or in our trailer is always key and I do the same situation when I if I have to bring it into a hotel room because we need more room or I leave it outside I mean I, I keep it kind of somewhat organized and you know for each hunt I, I pack a little different I use a big ziploc bag and I write this what each set is in here and I've got enough clothes here to where I can change every day as hot as it's going to be on this hunt that we're doing right now because we're in kentucky as i shoot this the temperatures are going to be in the 90s we're going to sweat there's nothing we can do uh, about it then i try to take it and, and use you know a different kinds of scent control from there I'll, I'll rely on various products you know a no odor something you can spray down with i'm a big believer in the atsco no odor it's got a great activator you pour it in shake it up it's going to help you a little bit is it going to be perfect every time no Nothing's perfect out there. A deer's nose is so darn good. You're just trying to tip the scales in your favor. And then we'll use, this time of the year especially, some pads or scent dispensers. I like the scent stick that Conquest has. This is a thermopad. Both of them are infused with Evercom. That is derived from a deer breeding facility. It's a product that I really use a lot of, I mean, all year long. If you've seen us, we're gonna have a yellow stick up, a yellow one or an orange one up a lot with the Evercom product in there. And there's a variety of those that you can use to uh, different ways to deploy it. I really like the wax form. As you're gonna see here, this is, you know, it's just like a deodorant stick. This is one that I've carried in my backpack. You can just raise it up and you can put this on trees. You can put it on your boots. A lot of times when you're walking in, you'll see me put it on my, my boots when I'm going in, especially when I'm hunting those areas that I know deer are using every trail in the area to just kind of keep things calm. When you look at Evercom, once again, it's just a product line, in my opinion, that helps keep the deer calm. That hence its name. It's drawn from the Conquest family of farms where they have their own private deer herd. They manage it all. It doesn't go out to some factory somewhere else. They do it all right there on site. They capture the scent. They work together to deploy it in all of these different formats here to help you basically keep the deer calmer in your area. And, the, and when you put all those things together, can you get five, 10, 15, 25% of uh, more in your favor? Hey, that sometimes is all it takes to get the deer you're trying to take, whether it's fill that freezer with an old Wiley doe or take a trophy buck.